so what we're going to do here tonight on the free video is just kind of take a look at the internals and what happened today into the close. And let's look at uh, Aussie N here on the five minute chart. And you can see here most of today, and the Aussie N is actually becoming a more and more important indicator on a lot of different fronts here. And essentially, Aussie N was trending lower much of the day. And what happened is on the S&Ps is the S&Ps were actually stronger early in the session based on the financials, that technology was weaker. And what happened is the hedge funds won out and Aussie N kept pushing lower and lower and lower. And then the S&P succumbed to that selling in what was going on with the NASDAQ uh, as well. Okay, and so they ended, off selling, they ended up selling off uh, pretty good on that. And then if we look at, let's see, let's look at this five minute chart here on the S&Ps as well. And you can see we had a squeeze there sitting up at the close, but it didn't go. But what happened here for much of the day on the S&Ps is because the S&Ps is actually strongly financial and technology, is that we ended up trading sideways most of the day. But then what happened is we got this nice five minute squeeze right here. And bam, that, that was the trade of the day right there. Just, uh, you know, this squeeze right here kind of kind of didn't do much. Uh, this squeeze didn't do much, but what happens with squeezes is that not every squeeze turns into a decent, a big trade, but most big trades are predicated by a squeeze. So this was the, kind of the trade of the day right there. NASDAQ had been trading, uh, trending lower all day, but it took that. Uh, so if we look at the NASDAQ five minute chart, you can see that it really, you really had more of kind of some more weakness during this time. It was actually down much further than the S&Ps. You also had the same kind of clean five minute squeeze that fired off here. And of course, a lot of this was driven by Apple. Apple had the earnings last night. It opened lower. For those of you last night, uh, we talked about this in the options letter is that you, sh you, sh you could sell naked puts in the morning or do a, a put credit spread. Really cashed in on that one today. That was a really nice trade. Because uh, what happens is with that Ivy explosion there at the open, everybody's scrambling for puts. You sell them to them, and then just as the you know as the stock calms down, uh, all that kind of goes away. And so Apple kind of threw a, a damper on what was going on in the Nasdaq today. And in the premium video, I want to talk about more bigger picture what I see happening and, and what's going on um, there. And then even some big tech stocks that I really liked, uh, like Amazon here, just got destroyed today. It just kind of started off. Uh, okay, and actually almost got close to break even, and then just bam, selling, 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 uh, just a little bit beyond the mean on a daily chart, and we'll take a look at that as well. Okay, so that's what we're going on today. Uh, Hubert and I are right in the middle of our three-day webinar. Uh, today was day one, where we focus mostly on teaching, and we go into some trading uh, tomorrow. I did cover a lot of the new stuff that's going into the second edition of Mastering the Trade, and then uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, Rob Hoffman will be doing also a free webinar, um, and there'll be a link for that uh, over to Infinity Futures, and there'll be a link for that in uh, the email blast going out tonight, so you can take a look at that. And uh, otherwise, for those of you that will be joining us tomorrow uh, for day two of uh, the uh, live training.